Okay, hello world, this is Dennis, KD9LVR, and got a, yet another antenna-related video, but before I start with that, I want to say thank you to Daniel, N9EAZ. He uh, gave me an idea last night while we were talking on the K9LUK repeater on uh, what to do with my antenna. So, I wanted to thank him first, and then I want to thank uh, Tom, Hamrad88, for the idea as to uh, what to do with the video here to better give you an idea of what the antenna looks like. Okay, so this is from Google Maps. This is my QTH right here. Uh, this up here is to the north, this is the south, um, this is the west, and this is the east. Okay, so. You see this right here? Um, this is the third tree on the side of the house I use, um, that I'm using as a support for my antenna. I don't dare go any further than here because um, there is a uh, power line going from the house you know, to here. So I don't go any further than this tree. So the wire itself goes up 25 feet into the tree this tree right here and then it goes approximately about um, about like 45 46 feet here to the front of the yard um, to this uh, kind of like fence post here which I have a nine foot um, adjustable painters pole and now what I did was I took that wire and I got it going here to um, some fencing that I have against the driveway here to keep my nephew from uh, running into the uh, into the driveway and this is approximately over 30 feet so this one right here we'll just say 47 feet and then this length here uh, let's just say 30 plus feet and then the peak back here, the vertical portion is approximately about 25 feet. Now um, I have done some testing with this uh, using the ICOM IC7300. It has an SWR graph and the results are, um, uh, are pretty good except for on 80 meters um, I'm back to where I was before where the only way I can get on to 80 meters is if I use the uh, uh, the Kenwood TS590 SG and tune it up that way. So, you know, whatever, I'll take it. But uh, yeah, this is my current antenna setup. Um, band conditions today aren't really good. Um, I tried ta uh, go or, uh, getting into uh, mid cars a little bit ago. The uh, net control station in uh, Ohio had difficulties making me out, but uh, luckily there was a relay station from, I think he was northwestern Ohio, if I remember correctly, and he said it was about like a 5556, five, and as I was talking to him, he said my signal got better, and he had a really nice 5-9 signal here. So, going to be doing some experimenting. Um, going to try getting on the vans. Uh, tonight. Today might not be the best. Although I could still, you know, do uh, FT8 and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, this uh, hopefully this gives you all a better idea of what my antenna looks like or um, how it's set up to be exact. So I hope you all enjoyed the video, 73, and peace and all that good stuff.